Hello, uh, today is uh, March 7th and I'm back. Um, I want to talk about um, the subject of casualties in Wuhan. So how many people died in, due to this virus? Um, because there are some questions from viewers, some feedbacks from people. Uh, for example, a person asked about uh, people that are unaccounted for, right? Because as I discussed, we do have a lot of people who are not tested. Um, we we just don't know they may not have a lot of symptoms they may just mistake it as a flu yesterday i took my daughter to to see the doctor uh, because she had a she had been coughing for three days and after we went to the doctor all the response we got were just the same as if you know there's no such virus exists um like how they would usually just treat you know, talk to patients about you know getting a cold or getting some sort of flu and you know go home and you know, drink water those are not wrong advice. And then, but then afterwards, I asked the doc doctor if we can get tested. The simple answer is just no. They don't have enough test test kits. They don't, you know, the the clinic didn't know um, how to test it. They don't have the ability to do it, and they don't even know where to point me to. Okay, they say go to a hospital. Well, you know, I think the, the only way to do it is go to an ER and see if they can point point you um, to a testing facility or something. Anyhow, um, that's the situation right here in uh, Los Angeles, Los Angeles County. Uh, might be you know different from place to place. I didn't want to probe it any further, but that's just from experience. Now the news is that um, President Trump made an announcement that they released one million units of testing kits. Good news, but you know if you think about it, one million is a big number, and. Uh, how many people do we have in the U.S.? Last time I checked, about 350 million. Okay, so if you think about it, that's for every 350 people, we have one testing kit. So that's not going to be enough to stop, to help um, the pandemic. Well, it may help a little bit. It may help people to identify. Some people may need more than one kit because you know you want to make sure that after they appear to be better, you still give them a test and make sure that they're okay. Um, okay, so so. Um, Go back to the question. Well, what about the people who are not accounted for? I don't really have a good answer because we don't have data on that. However, what I have is again some insights from Wuhan. They don't have enough data. They they were in the same situation. Uh, they still are. So they don't have enough test kits. They don't have anything uh, to identify all the patients. And the way they identify them are questionable at best. And the numbers they provide are really you know untrustworthy. That's all I can say. But uh, we do have ways to um, make our own, own ballpark uh, assessments. Ballpark, that's one word. Okay, so from a friend, I asked him in Wuhan who, who's gotten this disease. He's, you know, he has nothing else to do. He's a very smart guy. He's um, good in math and all that. I was saying, you know, just give me a rough estimate. How many people in Wuhan are getting this? Okay, he said 5%. And then he further added around him, the people he knows, about 30%. Think about thirty percent of people have this thing, one way or another. So let's just go by since we don't have anything else. Let's just go by his ground, you know, assessments from what he hears and what he observes. Uh, it's not the perfect data, but you know, it's some something to go by. So if you look at it, nine million people in Wuhan. Five percent of it is four hundred fifty thousand. Okay. So so far they're identifying. 80,000 something last time I checked uh, right here 80,000 and granted not all of them are from Wuhan and not from you know let's say half are from 40,000 or 45,000 so it's only about one out of ten that I identified okay now let's look at the death toll um, I don't want to I didn't want to do this video because it, it, it may sound political or scary and and all that but but there are people in Wuhan where this is a person um this guy Chris Lee okay he actually was a, a journalist he just went to Wuhan to look at the situation do some assessments you can go subscribe his um, channel Chris Lee okay he's looking up with a K in front K C I uh, K C R I S S Chris Lee so there's a one, one video where he goes to I'm just gonna glance through goes to all the cremators of Wuhan to, well he, he went to one of them and then during that time, somebody was trying to hire him to be a body mover. Okay, this is the part. You can go look at it. I'm not going to play it here. So basically, um, from his report, all the 
cremation plants are working 24 7 during that time so the, the video was uh, february 20th okay so at, by that time there's been 38 days since the first confirmed in january 12th okay and then he also did a really good job of you know finding the results so let me see you can go look at the video i'm not gonna play here um so by the government number there's about almost 9 million people registered residents in Wuhan. The death rate, um, annual death rate is about 5.51. That, that, not, not even 5.1, 1,000, right? This is not 1%, this is one tenth of a percent. So half of a percent, 0.55%. So that averages out to be, um, let's see if we did it right. Yes, I think I believe it's right. So that averages out to be 137 persons per day, death per day. So let's take into account, say, they have 200 deaths a day during the you know, worst season, you know, because it's winter, some old people just don't make it through the cold. And let's say 200 a day, just their normal work, workload. They also, he also calculated how many uh, cremators there are. There are about 74 total around, okay? 74 cremators. And then they say it takes about, he says it takes about 60 minutes to burn, okay, 60 minutes to cremate one person, one body. So 74, let's say just 20 per day. So that's the capacity of 1480, okay? Bodies, treatment. <clears throat> and if they run around the clock, that's that's 1300 over, 12, 1300 over the, their normal death rate, okay? Per day. So they've been going at that. So uh, there's another piece of information that's saying that they had some mobile burners brought in to the hospitals that they built. And uh, those burners can burn about 50 bodies a day, let's just say 40. So that's uh, actual capacity of another 1,600. So their actual capacity of burning bodies is 3,000 persons per day just for that city and the surrounding area, suburbs. Okay, 3,000 a day. So the total death report right now is 3,000 so far, total. From mainland China, does include the whole China, not just one city. So you can see the discrepancy, right? So let's not assume that you know they're just burning bodies all day long. But well, let's just assume that they burn one thousand extra bodies. It's been fifty days. Extra bodies, not the normal death bodies. It's been fifty days. So the death toll should be around fifty thousand instead of three thousand. Okay. So that's our guess, okay? Am I wrong about it? I could be, but that's just from Wuhan, okay? That's one in nine of the infected, or one in 10. So, you know, that's, a, that's the situation we're looking at. That's not something, you know, we, you know, we, can, we can obtain from official numbers. So uh, the point is, officials, they're doing things, they cannot report things they don't, they can't even count. There are cases, personally, I know my friend's uncle who died. They just took his body, the family had to pay for it to, to get it cremated, cremated, and then they get some ashes back. They don't know whose ashes are those. They don't have a way to, um, to even honor his life. They don't. He just is like less than a pet for some people. Think about that. Sometimes our fish die. You give them a proper burial and you know have a moment of silence for them but these people they don't even get that and we're not talking about a few people we're talking about tens of thousands so all i'm saying this i know some people are um thinking feeling that i'm trying to spread fear i'm not i don't want people to panic panic doesn't help I started from the very beginning. We don't want you to panic, but I want you to take it seriously. I want you to think about it and take it seriously. It's not a joking matter. 